What are we doing? Sure, we're on. Nope. Push them straight into it. Episode 2 Smoke and Mirrors. Wolf Among Us. Let's go. Among Us. Mr. Toad. Do something, Big B. Before he completely tears up the place. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey. You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking hey, Kazzy. about? Hey, Cassie. You stupid. <laughs> <laughs> You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. Look, whatever it is, it's between you and Beast. I'm staying out of it. It's not what you might be thinking. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Nope. Haven't seen her. Come with me. <laughs> What's jiggle physics on her neck? Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow! You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. <laughs> no, I'm D. He's dumb. <gasps> but he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. Holly, you're out of paper towels and... Uh... They're gonna string me up, Bigby. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. All right, I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl named... Fuck, man! This fucking lapdog. He comes sniffing around this place. Rich fucks. Maybe you should have showed that part Shit. before. <laughs> yeah, right, Bigby. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. That's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. All right. Telltale Games presents in association with Vertigo from DC Entertainment, Warner Bros. Smoke and Mirrors. Making this more difficult than it has to be. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. How Maybe much wider can his eyes go? <laughs> How are you? Who feeling? knows? Let's stretch them out. Let's see. I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. I'm feeling pretty fucking pissed off right now. If I'm honest, I'd like to smash everything in this room. Is that a threat? Depends on how much you like the furniture. <laughs> I didn't think that was funny, in case you were waiting for me to laugh. I didn't, in case you didn't, so that's, that's fine. Look, I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. You don't know anything. If you did, you wouldn't be sitting here talking to me. You'd be talking to the piece of shit that did this. Well, you stonewalling me like this isn't helping either of us, so why don't you cut the shit and... Ask me a fucking question, then. <laughs> I'm trying to help you, Bigby. What is it with you cops? Always trying to empathize with people. I know this must be hard for you. Do you? Do you fucking know? Have you had a friend killed and their head left at your fucking doorstep? I wonder if voice is Big no, B. Didn't think so. 
Telltale tend to uh, reuse a lot of voice actors for their games. I don't recognize this voice. Is bleeding. <gasps> you missed a spot. Yeah, you, uh, you just smeared it across your face. You got a tissue or something? De Detective Brannigan? I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah, I know. I just said that. Is there something? Do you hear that? <gasps> please. Please. Well, that's not gonna help. Do I stay or do I go? <laughs> we have to go now. Hey yo. What did you do to her? She'll be fine. It's just a memory wipe spell. Very expensive, but it works. The whole station will forget the last 24 hours and everything they saw at the woodlands. Well, hurry up. Yeah, maybe just take that. <laughs> Adam Harrington voices Big Bang. Hmm. Nothing heard of him before. Any previous work? Or anything else he's known for? <clears throat> anything fine we um we found Tweedledee chained up to a post that was your doing correct yeah well I don't know why you detained him D was at the trip trap when snow was left at the woodlands so he couldn't possibly be involved in this mayhem Bluebeard's currently interrogating him there's two of them D and Dumb and they've been snooping around every crime scene I've looked at. That doesn't mean they're necessarily involved in the murders. I know what you're thinking, Bigby. Oh, I highly doubt it. One full night and a slice of morning, and I already miss her too. Oh, he's done a lot. You know, <laughs> All right. More homes than one of us dies. And now, for it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. I just can't believe this is really happening. Dwelling on this shit isn't helping. Well, I apologize if my attempt at handling this has disturbed you, Bigby. But I thought we had some common ground. Thank you for the Wikipedia page. shitty couple of days. I know you're trying. Thank you. I don't know why I'm asking you, but did she give any indication as to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I mean. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was... She could come off as callous sometimes, but she wasn't really. She said that she wanted to change things. Make it easier for Fables to get help when they need it. I don't know what else to say, Bigby. We have to have to put an end to this. It's been two murders in as many days. That oldie really and looks like Harry Potter bank people. <laughs> yeah. Will be another on our sure. tonight. Like all in one. I'll get it done. <laughs> Please, Bigby. For Miss White. I got it. 
What about Mr. White, huh? Maybe I should take a ride over there, get some crystal meth. That's not a very good answer, is it? Come on, just tell me what I want to know. It will make things a lot That voice scary. right there. He's been in like literally oh, every well, Telltale you're game. Oh, using that. I just thought you really liked rubbing your little sword. What the hell do you think you're doing? Hello, Ichabod. Sheriff. Bluebeard. I was just chatting with our new friend. You were supposed to wait for us to get back. I told you, if you want to be involved, you will do things my way. No violence! Whatever you say. Yeah, I found Walter Wyatt. Hello, Big B. I want answers, D. Oh, goody. I thought you wanted questions, and I was having so much trouble thinking of any good ones. Though I'd settled on, how's your head? You see what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this, Big B? I'm glad you have a sense of humor. I hope that means you're willing to cooperate. Snow White is dead. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. You were with me when it happened, dummy. You don't sound that surprised, either. I still have questions for you, D. Sounds like a personal problem. This is ridiculous. Let him work. He's got more experience with these kinds of things. Why were you at Toad's place? Looking for a change of scenery. Thought I might move in. Had to take a look around first, of course. Make sure everything's up to code and whatnot. Looked all right. I'm not fucking around here, D. All right, D. Let's get to know each other. Fuck, Big B. Don't make me look at that. Just put that away. Please. This is why we're here. Someone killed this woman, and we need to know who. I get it, I do, but I can't tell you what I don't know. Just tell me what you were doing at Toad's place. Look, Big B, we're not on opposite sides here. My brother and I are trying to get to the bottom of things, same as you. Your brother? Where was he last night? I can't say. He could have been anywhere. Take your best guess. He didn't do it, if that's what you're thinking. Then where is he? No, I'm not sending you after my brother. Look, I answered your question. Can I get my stuff back now? What did you find on her? You didn't answer oh, shit. Uh, nothing of consequence, really. This imbecile will have him going in circles. He's getting somewhere. You just carry this around? Always handy that way. What the fuck? Big B, you shit! <gasps> so, this is how it's gonna be. What are you doing? Getting answers. I told you to keep yourself under control. Uh, let me handle this. Where's your brother, D? I don't know, okay? I haven't seen him since I left to go find Faith's... since we ran into you. But he didn't kill anybody, so you leave him alone. You mentioned Faith. What about her? I went to her apartment. That's no secret. You saw me there. No, there's more to it. You said you were trying to find something. All right, D. What did you want from Faith? I'm not telling you shit. Oh, I beg to differ. What? You always carry this much cash. I don't like banks. So what? I better get that back. I'm declaring a tax on uncooperative troublemakers. <laughs> what the fuck kind of a shakedown is this? You'll need to account for that. You can't just... 
There are procedures to be followed. We'll talk about it later. What did you want from Faith? I didn't want shit from that little thief. More trouble than she's worth. I could say the same about you. Oh, yeah? Untie me and see how much trouble I am. That's enough. What did she steal? Must have been valuable. I don't know. It was just some dumb thing my boss was after. What did you say? Your boss. So let's talk about your boss, then. Come on, Dee. It's clear you're just following orders. So who's calling the shots? No, I'm fucking done. I doubt it. I've still got a cigar. Don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I got one. I'm saving that. Ain't saving shit. This is really... Oh, it's Why I didn't put this. it out? I'm trying to decide whether to be diplomatic or not. What are you planning to do exactly? Here. You cracked a fucking bottle on my face, and now you want to be best friends? Go no cut back up! Way. You're out of your mind! Look, things got out of hand. We're past it now. <laughs> Two minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, you taking the drag or not? There you go. Alright. Good cop, bad cop, psycho cop. <clears throat> nah, okay then. Why don't you just tell me who you're working for? Look, you're not a bad guy. I believe beauty on that one. But I can't give you that information. That's where I gotta draw the line. There's no way beauty would associate with a scumbag like you. What's wrong with me? You're telling me I ain't pretty enough? Yeah, we're real close. I thought this was supposed to be a murder investigation, but you're treating this guy like a fucking house guest! Bluebeard. I wouldn't want to be a house guest in your house. Progress before. What is this patty cake shit? Snow White is dead. One of us. And you're going to let this ignorant shit walk out of here in one piece. Out I'm of getting my around I'll to show it. you how it's done! <laughs> What the fuck? What do you think you're doing? Teaching him a lesson. Now pay attention. Stop this right now! You enjoying yourself immensely. What? <laughs> Unless he has a schlong like a horse, I don't think he's getting touched. In fact. Is there a way to skip the introduction sequence? I don't think there is. Okay. okay. Well, <sighs> chasing Latino. <laughs> uh, while we're waiting, let's read up a little bit on... Adam, shall we? Riot Games? If the fuck's it? Godfather... Okay. Star Trek Online, Iron Man 2... He was L.A. Noir? Oh, okay. Patrolman, Harvey Keller. What the hell was going on down there, Bigby? Abusing uh, can you wait a minute? I'm reading Wikipedia. I thought you could control yourself. I thought you were dead, Snow. And that makes it okay? Just in the borderlands, they really do I reuse hope it a lot. It's worth of your time. 
Elder Scrolls, Mafia 3, Halo Wars 2. Okay, you, you're gonna have to explain this, because I'm really not getting it yet. After a conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. There's a wolf among us, too. Son found a body. Oh, it's coming out next year. It was Faith huh. at the time. My God, my timing for these are really good. Easy, but hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer, or at least to figure out who she is. I should have been there, Snow. I tried calling the business office, but there was no answer. I couldn't find you or anyone, so I took care of it. Yeah, so what about the head? Did she explain that just there while I was reading? What is it? Are, are you gonna be okay? I mean, uh, with all that's happened. I'll be fine. I just want to get to the bottom of this. I just feel like... What is it? I just... I feel responsible in a way. She looked just like me. Ah, okay. And maybe that's why she was killed. Snow, it's not your fault. But she looked just like me. It was in the script. It's not your fault. We just have to find out who did this. And why she was glamoured to look like me. I mean, that's what it is, right? So, what's our next move? Maybe you should lie low for a while until we figure out what's going on. Attention what? seeker, honestly. <laughs> Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs, waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my problems? I'm the sheriff, Snow. I go out and do Hello, the hey, work ghost, to keep doing? you all safe. And what Welcome. am I here for then? I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once. I'm and... not yours to lose. I'm sorry. You can go play Ghost Runner. Hey, fitting. I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. I can take care of myself. I've been doing it for centuries. TJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up, though, so try not to be too, you know. Myself. Right. Irish weather, even though it's sunny enough outside, I have to keep getting up and checking that it's not raining out of nowhere. I already did the game, of course, but I'm trying to go fast. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> can barely pass the first level of that. TJ's I do want to go there. back to it, but I don't know if you I want to talk to him first, first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. I, I want to be there. Buffkin, do you have a second? Of course, Miss Snow. Those eyes are dead and empty. Time to rub a rub that lamp. I'm going to do that every time I have the opportunity. Snow's perfume. <laughs> okay. And acids. Maybe this has been harder on him than I thought. Hmm. Gotta go fast. <laughs> Where exactly is the body? She said something about looking at body. Faster, faster, faster. <laughs> but do 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 Oh, that's enough. Mira, finish! Cancel! No. What the hell are you doing? Don't even get started with me, Sheriff! What's going on? I saw what you did down there. Is that how you treat your prisoners? I'd be lying if I said I didn't want to give Tweedledee a good smack after what he put me through. But what you did to him was way over the bloody line. 
Hit him with a bottle, relax. What are you talking about? How? Okay, Mr. Toad. That's your problem. I want an explanation. And what did you expect to see? I thought maybe I'd catch you on the shitter. But I saw something worse, didn't I? That's enough. You can't go bitching to somebody Toad, for spying I on them. I the distress this has caused you and your son. But right now, we need to carry on with the investigation. I will be happy to speak with you about your concerns later, but you must understand how urgent this is. We need to talk to TJ. This ain't over, Big B. Bro, I could squish you. <laughs> Relax. TJ. It's all right. Are you ready to talk to Mr. Wolf? And if you're not, I've got a Frenchman over here. Should be afraid. Be afraid, little toad. Watch yourself, Big B. You do anything to hurt me, boy. It's okay. Are you okay? Go ahead, DJ. I go swimming at night sometimes, in the river. I wasn't doing anything bad, I promise. Of course you weren't. We know you're a good kid, TJ. Just tell me what you saw. I was there, under the big blocks, and I heard noisy feet. And when I hear that, I'm supposed to go underwater and stay real still and quiet. That's right, son. Then I saw... I... I saw the lady! <laughs> It's okay, son. <laughs> Careful, Big B. I wasn't. I know. The lady fell in, but but she didn't have her head on. <sighs> I always I leave thought, mine at home. I, I thought she was gonna pull me down too. <laughs> Cause, Cause she had rocks on her feet And she kept falling down in the dark parts <laughs> Cinder blocks tied to her ankles Is there more, TJ? Is it true? Are they like possums you know played when ahead? people are lying? I heard you could do that That's why you're the sheriff Please tell the truth Is there something else? Please, don't be mad. What is it, TJ? Wait. I, I didn't stay under the water. What? I know I'm supposed to. For a second, that scared. sounded like Clementine's and I went actress. To the top again. I couldn't help it. No, it's okay, not. You very specific Dude, did for a second. You have did to stay quiet, <laughs> and out of sight, or bad things can happen. I told you. It's dangerous out there. <laughs> if someone saw you, you're not in trouble. Look, like Ellie's not. Not this time, Toad. So you didn't stay underwater. I don't know if anyone saw me, but but someone said, stop laughing. And then I was scared, and I went under for as long as I could. Why were you laughing? Wait, you heard someone? Yes. Why didn't you tell us before? I didn't want to be in trouble. Did you hear anyone laughing? No. Do you know whose voice it was? No! How fucking good are you? <laughs> Were those the same words they used? Stop laughing? Try to remember exactly what they said. They said... They said... Stop laughing... At me. Bigby, he's frightened. Did you hear anything else? I don't know! I don't know! I'm sorry. After I came up again, there was no one there. And I ran home, that's all. I promise. I want to go home. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> okay, you can go. <laughs> Don't traumatize the Tocha. <laughs> okay, son. 
<laughs> Let's get you out. You did a good job, kid. Don't stop traumatizing the tow truck. <laughs> That went about as well as I expected. <sighs> you want to go look at the body now? In a minute. When you're ready. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Hello, Mirror. I believe we have more to discuss. <laughs> Mirror. Hello, Big B. Nice to see you. You probably knew Snow was alive the whole time, didn't you? Possibly so, but the moment has passed. You didn't rhyme, and you never asked. But as you know, I'm quite prolific, if you want me to show you someone specific. Hello, big boy. So close. <laughs> I'm not interested in the woodsman. Show me Where Tweedledum. Where can I find Tweedledum? Uh, that piece of scum. The woodsman and I were fighting. Now I want to know where he's hiding. Well, that's helpful. <laughs> Great, thanks for that, Mirror. You know what? Maybe seven years it might be worth it. Hang on. <laughs> so, check out anyone who fits that profile. You might start with Bluebeard. Right away, Miss Snow. Why can't Bluebeard? Are you, you ready have to Bluebeard. examine the body now? Yeah, might as well. Yeah. Oh my goodness! I almost forgot. Oz. Come on. The wonderful wizard of Oz. Because, 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 because. Witching well chamber. Shouldn't the glamour have worn off then? I didn't realize... I've never seen her face before now. It's just a body, Snow. If you can't do this... No, I'll be fine. I want to be here. It's just a decapitated corpse. So effective, it's invasive. She sings into a but well. She's in a well now. Just do what you need to do. Check her mouth. There might be a ribbon in there. Like before. Or maybe it's in your mouth, okay. Snow. I should put my fingers in there, just to be sure. Can you close her mouth? No. Thanks. That's weird. I don't wear a brooch like that. Maybe it really belonged to her. Not part of the glamour. Looks like something from the homelands. Buffkin, do you recognize these symbols? No, nothing I've seen before. I'd say the smell is great indeed. Come on, here you go. Looks just like Faith's did. But there was nothing in her mouth this time. Do you think it was done by the same person? Hard to tell. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? No. He said he wanted to run more tests. Run more tests? What, what are you testing? <laughs> oh. Damn, for free? Rope marks. She was tied up? 
They tied Sam more like tied down her ankles so she would sink. Oh. <laughs> it's so weird. It's like Disney characters getting introduced to the mafia. <laughs> marks. She used Monday drugs. Looks that way. Pretty heavily too. I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their arms, or if they're trying to hide the marks. Wait. If the glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like track marks? Well, no, because you have all those marks, don't you, Snow? You're a little heroin addict. Is Oz Disney? I don't fucking know. I don't know what Disney. The witches upstairs know what they're doing. SMH. I was just making jokes. Unless someone is making glamours illegally. It's not technically illegal, Miss. It's not encouraged for sure, but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. So there's some sort of black market for glamours? One would assume so. I imagine anyone Warner with Bros. access to the proper uh, books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. Potato, potato. Another thing to worry about. Black market or not, it's a pretty good match. Look at that. The buttons aren't exact either. There's an extra one here. You're right. These buttons are wrong. I wonder... What? Snow, I need to open her code. Big B. Just buttons, of course. Let me. Why was that a big deal? Just a body. I... Sorry, that uh, took longer than expected. What have you found out? Well, it's definitely a woman. She was using Monday drugs. Pretty heavily, too. Judging by the track marks on her legs. Track marks? Damn it, Easter. <laughs> there are diseases. I don't think she has to worry about that now. No. No, of course not. We should keep going. <laughs> Lingerie. Are you wearing silk lingerie, Snow? <clears throat> Why do you want to know? I'm just trying to see if the clothes are exact. They're not. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mind if I check? <laughs> it's your perfume. How do you know what perfume I wear? You can't fool this, Nose. Also, I saw the bottle on your desk. Looks like someone picked it out for her. So, someone gave her instructions. Okay. What else is in pocket? Money, money, like money. Oh. It's definitely magic. The witches don't usually craft objects these days. I don't think it's wise to fool around with that. It's some kind of black market magic. Who knows what it could do? We should have it looked at. Just to make sure it isn't dangerous. Don't you think? You may be right. One way to find out. Hmm. What? There's something in here. How do we open it? Good old fashioned way. Might want to stand back if you're worried, Crane. I'm gonna try to open it. Something to do with these rings here. God damn, I thought I was just gonna smash it. Ah, oh, yes, very complicated. Wait, now hold on. <laughs> uh... Oh, fuck you. Maybe 
Maybe it's not the first image? Ah! Okay, that's gotta be right. Or not. <laughs> Would you, the controls are kind of ass. Can't use the D-pad. Wait, what? Why do they line up now? Oh, okay, whatever. A deer. What does that mean? Oh. Lock of your hair. Is that? It's your hair. Someone must have taken this from my apartment. I noticed it was missing, but I didn't think. This was the last picture I had of Rose and me. My sister and I don't talk much anymore. Who did this, Bigby? She's a troll? You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, she's a troll. Can we move on? Who is she? That wasn't there before. Who do you think she is? I don't know many trolls, I'm afraid. Should have left them all back in the homelands. Maybe Holly knows. The owner of the trip trap? No, she looks a little... Oh, no. What is it? It's not Holly. It's her sister, Lily. She was reported missing, but it... Guess it just slipped through the cracks. You kidding me? She couldn't slip through any cracks. <laughs> right. Who knows? She might know something about this. Who Lily was seeing. Well, certainly another troll. Fucking racist. You can't go out there. Why not? It's too dangerous. Someone tried to kill you. Bigby, you can't let her go out there with you. You're staying here. And do nothing like I always do. You're yes. not coming with me, Snow. I should go. I don't care if you're angry. It's better than being dead. This whole thing is complete bullshit and always has been. I mean, what's his job, really? Keep shit from reaching <laughs> his the arms still gone Jack I don't know where they are you're a bar you're supposed to have darts around and I normally do but who knows where the fuck they went to after yeah your face better fucking drop you want to go around too motherfucker come on Holly I need entertainment this will do oh you really don't want this fight Holly, you got a minute? Why? Please, Holly. It's important. Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. It's amazing. It really is. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Jack. Wolfie, my dear, how are you? Because, you know, we were just talking about you. All of us. At the bar. Here. I'm really not in the mood right now. Well, I was in the mood to play darts, so I guess nobody's getting what they want. I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? Oh, everyone knows. Tweedledee was just here. 
You said it looked like Snow White. You sure it wasn't Tweedledum? Well, no, but he seemed pretty sure. Crane. Tweedledee said you arrested him for no earthly reason. Kept him locked in the cellar all fucking night. He said you tortured him. Which, I don't know, that seems like a breach of your legislative duties. Bigby, come on. You can't be so dumb as Jack, to... find the off button, now! Thank what you. What is it with you two? You and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around, but as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. He fucking maimed you. Aren't you pissed? Cat got your nerve. What happened? What happened? I'm tired is what happened. Tired of what? Of trouble, Jack. I'm sick and tired of trouble. I don't want any more. Both of you, listen. Bigby, look. Two fables are dead. And shit, Gren's sister... Holly's sister. Holly's sister has been missing for what? A few days now? And we haven't heard word one about it from anyone. Hey, easy! Ah, fuck! What'd I do? It's a... Ah! Go fuck on up a beanstalk, Jackie boy. Grant, you gotta learn some new lines. Let me tell you. That's what you were supposed to be. <laughs> All right. Actually, have there been any updates? I don't know how to say this to you, Holly. The woman we found in the river. Who was it? You know who it was. The sister did it? You think? God fucking damn it! Of course, the dear princess Snow fucking White is all safe and sound. Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? Granted. You'd give one ounce of a shit about her, about any of us. She might have been saved. She might have been cared for. She might have been... <laughs> I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry we found your sister this way, and I... I wish this had ended up better. I knew this would happen. I know this is hard. You can just, uh... Holly. I ain't got nothing for you, Wolf. All right, I think that's... Oh, for fuck's sake. No, oh, you, you took the words out of my mouth. What could you possibly want right now? I thought we agreed you'd lay low. I didn't agree to anything. Snow. I have to do something, all right? And this is at least what I can do right now. What, mess yeah, everything up? She knows. So your business is done here. Holly, get the fuck out of my bar. I just want It should have been you. It should have been you, and it wasn't. We recovered this from her personal effects. I thought you might like to have it. Her personal effects, bro. You took I, it I off her body. She still had this. Uh, the copper was from a dwarf mine. It's very rare and very old. It's quite lovely. Gren. Yeah. Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure? Come on, Gren. We'll go grab a drink. No? No. I don't know that much about her life. Honestly, we didn't talk often. She was lost here in the city. She just got swept away by it. Do you have any idea why she'd be glamoured as Snow White? What? Oh, God. I'm sorry. 
That was probably about. She was hooking to pay down debt. It ain't me up to see her that way. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. The owner, Georgie, with all his fucking fees, it's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. Holly, it's okay. If it's too much, we don't have to do this. Pudding and pie, huh? What do you know about the place? It's a real garbage dump. We can just go check it out. We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here? <laughs> Lily. Thanks for everything, Holly. Is there, um, is there anything we can do to- No. No, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. It's not charity. It's looking out for our own. Is she? Where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no, it's, it's a kind of, it, it's a formality with trolls. We burn our dead by sunrise or, I don't know, some old- Oh, old her body's evidence though. Soul up. Holly, Lily's the best evidence we have right now. We can't surrender her body till I know it can't help the case anymore. This is really important to me. And the investigation is important to everyone. Look, why don't you come down with me to the business office and we'll see what we can do. That club? I'll go down there now, see what I can find out from the owner. When you come back to the office, please try to make more of an effort with her. Bro, no. <laughs> I was Just being as nice as possible. It makes everything easier. Okay, you're not playing on my heartstrings, okay? We need the fucking body. It's gonna fuck me over in the future if she gets to burn that shit. All right, here we go. Time to get fucking claimed or taken down or some shit because of nudity. <laughs> nah, shouldn't be too bad. Please don't solicit me. Oh, Sheriff, what a nice surprise. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. You're always welcome, of course. Is it business or pleasure? I'm a friend of Georgie's. Where is he? A friend? Hm. You're in luck. He's here. Come on. I should warn you that Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. And he's in kind of a mood right now. I mean, more so than usual. Is he, uh... Alone in there? He's working with one of the dancers, but don't worry about that. Discretion is our guarantee. Mm hmm. What's this silent disco? Welcome to the Pudding and Pie, where we cater to the diverse tastes of the Fable community. Your pleasure is our pleasure. Your desires are our desires. Your imagination is the menu. And discretion is our guarantee. Did you know Lily? She worked here? Oh. My lips are sealed. You'd better ask Georgie. <laughs> Surprised they added jiggle physics. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? You look like you're trying to take a shit. Who's gonna want that? No one's gonna want that. I can take it from here. Good luck. It's your face. You have to Just cover, you cover, smile. cover, cover. There we go. How many times do I have to say D it? Fuck it. There you go. 
Oh, any dude oh, with dollar signs here. tattooed in his face is a pretentious Get asshole. Closed. Keep dancing, you. I didn't say stop. Is that beauty? For fuck's sake. You, stay right there. Don't even think about sitting down. Leave her alone, asshole. Sure, whatever you say. What do you want, then? You here for a little taste? Tell you what, come back after midnight, maybe. I can hook you up. Or, uh, knowing you, she's probably not quite your style. You'd prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. Tell me, do you prefer a stationary target, or one that will put up a fight? <laughs> I'm not here for that. Ooh, I'm not here for that. <laughs> Just stopped in for the chips, then. Jesus, Big B, you're so corny. I love it though. No, seriously. <laughs> I love his accent. I'm not here for that either. <laughs> okay, all right, Sheriff. Just fucking with you. Look, I know why you're here. Who told you? Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamour. Of course she was, you daft git. She was a troll. No. I mean glamour to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? Tits, tits, tits. Toss? People get up to all kinds of things when nobody's watching. I think you're behind this. You got her a black market glamour as part of some twisted sex fantasy. Ooh. Black market, is it? How exciting. This is exactly what I would expect from a thug like you. Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations, try to scare people. But you've got fuck all to back it up. And we're all just meant to jump any time the wolf shows his teeth. He used to be something, you know. Now look at him. Nothing to back it up? Well, what the fuck is this, then? Get that out of my face. I found it on Lily's body, and it's definitely a back alley job. Where did she get it? You've got this all wrong. If Lily was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. For fuck's sake, I want that kind of eat. Who was she doing it for, then? She had clients, Bigby. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of fucked up people in Fable Town. Like who? Try looking in the mirror. <laughs> anyway, now what to do with me? Go on, then. I'm gonna smash those speakers between your ears. You gonna hit oh. me? Go oh. ahead. <laughs> Ask and no. you shall receive. Take your sad fucking face where I can't see it. Bloody bastard fucking shit. You proud of yourself, mate. Proud of your little mess. I Fuck think it's a major improvement. Fuck up, Hans. It's supposed to be Hansel? Hold on a minute. Hans, is it? Hans just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not going to know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. No one knows. Don't you get it? It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know, including me. I cover my eyes and take my cut. End of story. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written in You're it? You're a fucking moron. Show me. <laughs> There is no book. And as for you, Hans, we need to work on your communication skills. Crowd control. I have a fairly good idea where to start. Hey, that's my personal property. Oh yeah, you want a bag? <laughs> sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. Oh, 
unbelievable prick. Hey, no. Cut the crap, Georgie. I want the book Hans is talking about. Hans is confused. Again. Don't even think about it. Jesus fuck! I gave you a chance, fella. Do not touch that. Let's you try it again. It's nothing to do with you. There's still time for you to just cough it up. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but there's no Andy Magic book with everything you want to know jotted down inside. I sincerely wish there was. Maybe it would get you off me back. Hello there. What's this? Well, well. What's this? Looks like a floor safe. I wouldn't know. It was here when we moved in. I don't have a key to it. Sheriff, will you come on? Fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. Give it to me. You're a big bad bastard. We get it. Everyone's guilty. We fucking get it. Oh, I should have heard him. Jesus, you're killing me. I'm begging you. I'll pay you. Oh, for fuck's sake. Come on, Nate. Leave it. There's nothing there for you. This is a dance club. What the hell am I supposed to do tonight while the girls are on stage? Harmonica? Kazoo? <laughs> Bloody come on, men. Fucking trash my business over this bullshit. Protector of Fable Town, my ass. What a load of crap. It's up to me, I burn this place to the ground, Once motherfucker. Again, don't get your hopes up. There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. But it's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so we can be happy about that. Here, this is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie, who's this Mr. Smith? Oh dear. I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. You think? Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Hans knows that. What's 207? Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, Georgie. <laughs> this is your book. Your girl. I'm not their fucking secretary. I give them a stage. I give them music. I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. But let's be clear on something. The girls make the arrangements with their clients, not me. The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths and Joneses and Mr. X types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. I log the business, take my cut, and I'm out. Now, I've had quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. Hello, business office. Georgie. Yeah, that's right. Imagine reporting the big bad wolf. Crazy. Faith, thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. Lily. Looks like they both saw one of Lily's clients. And either that was just out in the open. Take it with you. Lipstick, lip gloss, compact, glitter. Broken open, but there isn't even a lock. Lock's been busted open. Been there, seen that. Excuse me. 
I heard you out there. I don't remember ever seeing you here before. I didn't have a reason to come here before. Yeah. You're trying to place me. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. I got news for you. Your recent movie changed you a lot. <laughs> My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. Does the number 207 mean anything to you? I assumed it was a room number, but where? We can't talk about work. This is a murder case. I mean, can't. Hmm. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. It's how things work here. People There's a spell on them phrases. or something. What does it mean? This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. There's definitely some kind These of like... Lips. Yeah, there's some kind of curse or spell or shit on the... Sheriff Wolf, would you like to make an appointment with me? Okay. What would I need to do? I need 150. It's not good to be short. Give her all your money. <laughs> Wait here for a second. It's two episodes and I've already paid two hookers. Amazing. New book of fables entry. Which fable was this? Two oh seven. You'll think of something. Maybe just I don't know, Open walk up arms. three doors. Hmm. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for. I love how the dude like was just perfectly okay with her giving me those keys. It's like, oh, he wants business? Yeah, I believe that, for sure. It's not like he just spent the last ten minutes wrecking my joint. a hotel right next to a strip club or vice versa amazing business model Want it by the hour or for the whole night? Oh, uh, you. I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So now you know. I know oh no! Sure somebody, <laughs> but Beast would lose his mind if you knew. Beast is a proud man, Big B. He wants to do right by me, and he. He just couldn't handle it if he knew I had to do this so we don't get evicted. You should really tell Beast. 
he's worried about. I mean, it's nothing compared to what the girls are doing in the rooms. I just need to in my own time. By the way, thanks for covering for me. So, what are you doing here? Is that oh, what this you voice have actress? a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh. Oh, yes. The... the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but... she came off a tad intimidating. Ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe... on a job? Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? <laughs> That's all we get here. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. <laughs> I talked to Tweedledee earlier today. He mentioned you in passing. Do you know him? Or his brother? I took out a loan. For back pay. It was like our third notice. And ever since then, those annoying freaks have been pestering me for the money, plus interest. Why take out a loan from those two? It was from the crooked man. Beauty. You don't know how desperate I was, Bigby. I had nowhere else to go. Look, if this ever happens again, come see me or Snow first, all right? I tried. Ever meet a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. Suicide prevention night, poster next to escorts from NYC. Jesus. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather. Sorry. Have you seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamoured as her? You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but she didn't say anything when she saw me, even though she knew that I saw her. I just assumed it wasn't snow and went about my business. Thanks. Wait. It'll be better if anyone sees you that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Five minutes, please. We'll see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. Listen, Bigby, I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something. Which is fine, it's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's, it's not like Beast would ever see your report. It's just, well, you never know. Well, someone's getting happy. The less I have to write down, the better. Thanks. I appreciate it. Well, here we are. Which one was it? It's uh, 207, I believe. You don't really have to stay up here with me. Yes, I do. Just do what you have to do. to these rooms I thought you had a key not to this one hold on Big B I can't just let you go into any room you want Jesus dramatic Seriously, what if someone found out I could get into a lot of trouble I could just break in the door if you prefer no don't I'll help you just don't break anything well that's weird this key is supposed to open every room in the building but it's not working. Beauty! Ah, shit. Beast? <clears throat> Big B? How could you do this oh, to me? No. no, sweetie, no. Wait a minute. How could you do this? We've been together through everything. I took care of you. I love. It's not what you think. Please. You're cheating. That is Clementine's voice actor. Him? No, no, Beast. I promise I'm not. I'm helping him. That's all. What is he doing here, though? I'm Very sure true. Actually, good question. Great. 
I know what this place is. I know what goes on. This is a murder investigation. She's helping me. Stop lying to me! What the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife! Beast, listen to me. There's nothing going on. I'm not. Ah! Hey. Bastard! I guess I finally see you for who you are. Stop! Stop it! You told me you hadn't seen her, you fucking liar! You've been sleeping with her this whole time! Listen to your wife. Just calm down and... Beast! God damn it. Yeah, if you're gonna punch, you can you at least break the door behind you? You aren't even listening to me! Oh, he's horny. She's my wife, Bigby! That was a good one, Gazzy. Crying. <laughs> oh, my God, that was a little unnecessary. <laughs> Gotta rip the door up. Exactly. You ruined everything! Peace. She's my fucking wife! Thank you! <sighs> Shit! What have you done? Access granted. What you did to the door? You can't just act like this whenever Stand you- Stand back. You, you don't want to see this. Well. Well, we got the door open. Don't know what kind of kick <gasps> this one was. Oh my god. Don't Maybe it was a certain anything. time of the month for this one? Is this, is this- Lily met her client here. Mr. Smith. Whoever he is. And then? Must have happened right here. Jesus. Last night? Yeah. I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty, what? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work the front desk. I... so that's... Did you notice anything out of the ordinary? There might have been some loud noises. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, the loud noises aren't out of the ordinary. I didn't hear anyone screaming or anything like that, but shouldn't I have? It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out. Well, <laughs> I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But just do what he says. I'll explain later, okay? Beauty and the cock. Sorry. <laughs> what kind of a person could do something like this? That's exactly what I'm about to try to find out. I can't believe this. Do all the rooms have these same clocks with a built-in cassette player? I think so, yes. Looks like she was lying down when she was killed. Flowers were already here. How do you know that? Blood pattern. Also, I'd say the body was dragged off the foot of the bed. There. The body. Jesus. You could say she. Poor girl. I just can't even imagine. <laughs> really? <laughs> Excellent detective work. It's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. Apparently not. He brought wine. Classy. <laughs> I was. God damn it, you stole my line. What is that? Smoke weed every day. Hey, you doing, Lefon? I see you added more numbers. Is that a uh, a near reference? The whole book is about her. Yeah. Hmm. 
Was she breathing? Why yes, it is a reference. Glass very glass good, very good. This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. Hmm. What's it mean? Why mark the page where she's sleeping? I think he made up the bed to match the coffin in the picture. Flowers, too. He'd have had Lily lie down just like this. You mean just before? In the story, that's when someone comes to kiss her. That's our Mr. Smith. This is creepy. The coffin and, and the weird fixation on snow. What the hell is wrong with this guy? Hmm. Fucking. Anything else here? No? Okay. God. For my arrival. <sighs> Hello there, Do Apple. Do you smell something? No. Just Apple. Poison? What? What are you thinking? Murder makes me hungry. <laughs> it's got a single bite taken out of it, like in Snow's story. Oh, no. Do you think it was poisoned? It wasn't. I'd have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. Of ah, course. role play. That makes perfect sense. Who was it the top and the bottom? Scenes from the book. That poor girl. Should have picked a better book. She couldn't have known. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. <laughs> just be down the hallway. <laughs> here. I mean, not exactly here, but just how does a person... Georgie took advantage of her when she was in trouble. He's a real predator. Yeah. Okay, cassette she time. Must have been so scared. So it was the old lady that was playing, so it's the sister? Wait, what? Old lady who's playing. Big beat this? I say I snow I sister. Music. Last hmm. night, it was playing pretty loudly for a while and then stopped in the middle. I didn't think twice about it at the time. I, I mean, you hear all kinds of things around here and I guess I've already gotten used to blocking them out. Could have covered up the sound of the murder. Maybe she didn't see it coming. Oh no, she saw it coming. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Hmm. Hmm. Someone's been rough with this dress. It's torn. Oh no, she must have been wearing it. He killed her and then... And then he took it back off? I mean, to be fair... No, there's no blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. Interesting. Oh no, there's more? What? What now? Maybe she probably had her eyes... Had her eyes clo closed? Closed. <laughs> you be a crossdresser. <laughs> this is the same dress as the one in the book about snow. I think Smith was dressing Lily up in it. To recreate the snow from the book. You're right. It's the same dress. It's another match to what's in the book. God, I can see the whole picture now. It, it all goes together like you said. This creep put that girl in a snow white dress and, and recreated the whole story from the book with the apple and, and the deep sleep and everything. You're a better detective than I thought you'd be. It's pretty straightforward. So he planned it all out. He had all the details noted down. Only then, when it comes time to kiss her and wake her up. How do you put her to sleep? Yeah. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. Girl. Not all of them. How 
How do you know? I'm in this one. Someone's watching me on the mirror. Some joking can get you to pass out real this quick. Kind of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this. I'll take your time. word on it. He'll keep trying to get closer and closer. His stand in for snow is gone now, so the next step closer. What is it? It's <gasps> crane. Ah, uh, God, I'm surprised they showed that hand there. No, don't you dare throw that. I wanted to rub that again. Creepy pervert. Buddy. Damn, that was a shorter episode. Huh? Could be after you now. Good. I am dying to get my hands on that disgusting weasel. That's so weird as well, like with the glamour. Like, it's almost like deep fake porn, but like prostitution wise. <laughs> Getting the person you want to be with without it being them. It's not the man in the mirror. Really starting to like mm. you, Sheriff. You're not afraid. I mean, whenever they show you, you know, undeniable proof in these kinds of things, it's usually some kind of like red herring. Hello, Big B. <laughs> oh God, I've made take some care enemies. Of it, Big B, or I'll take care of it for you. Are we talking about my Jeez. erection? Is that you? You say weird, I say normal fanfiction read. Well, this will be interesting. How did you respond to Crane about Snow's death? You and 12.9% of players shut him out. I didn't think I should shut him out, really, but okay. Um, how did you treat the murder suspect? You and 62.4% of players persuaded him to talk. Did you let Snow come with you to the trip trap? You and 8.1% of players told her she should stay safe, even though she came in anyways. Fucking telltale for you. How'd you handle Georgie Porgy? Georgie Porgy. You and 30.1% 30 of players hit Georgie. That is some bullshit. You're telling me nobody else took the plunge? Uh, did you keep punching Beast when he was down? You and 77.8% of players opted not to hit Beast a second time. Damn. You got some cold sons of bitches out there. Smack a man while he's down. Alright, well that was shorter than I was expecting. Usually you kind of have like a same time frame with these episodes. Like, it's been a while since I've done a Telltale, but usually episode one is pretty long. So gotta introduce everything. Episode two is usually pretty short, to be fair, but I just didn't think it was gonna be that short. Um, episode three three kind of long episode four tends to be really long and then episode five is kind of middling you see yeah i already read okay interesting all right guys until next time i suppose some food for thought, and for anyone who missed it, I'll update people in the server that they can check out the VOD for. I think it's actually two weeks when you're affiliate, so pretty dope. But if not, it'll be on the uh, archive channel afterwards, anyways. Take care, guys. Have a good day.